is a small country, 1.2 million uh, people. On the other hand, as I said, there are many, you, there are huge problems because uh, people are, are reached with difficulties uh, because they are spread all around. It's a very it's a sea, but also big mountains and big valleys, and the, and the people are scattered. The people do not recognize the, the problem or the need to ask for, uh, for help, once it, even though when they recognize problem. There are a lot of uh, social dynamics which complicate the delivery of the service, especially related to the religion, taboos, tradition, gender, uh, discrimination, and so and so on, which make our work, our work very, very difficult. And uh, also it is, uh, what I say, to deliver services to these people, is, it's very difficult because uh, most of the uh, service that we deliver, like in health, but also in education, are what we call low volume. Low volume means that the target population is small. We are talking uh, health facilities with three health cadres, the doctor, okay, a Cuban trained doctor, which is public health oriented, not doing any surgery or any cesarean or any things, uh, and then no appendicectomy, no theater and so on. And then there is a midwife, not always present because there is uh, the lack of the human resources, and there is a nurse. Now these three people with a small uh, infrastructure are serving 600, 1,000 people. It's low volume. And also, although they might be well trained and they're perhaps they are good willing in doing the proper work, they will see very few cases or specific cases every year. So therefore, they will lose their capacity or what they've been trained for. The other issue, of course, are related to the financial aspect. For Timor-Leste, the availability of funds is not the major issue, being a middle, low, uh, middle income country. Although the major budget comes from one source, which is the oil revenues. So there is a, a lot of issues in differentiation of, of the revenues of the government. Uh, the taxation is not there. And you, you can understand that a country that have got a national budget or national state budget uh, composed by more than 80% of oil revenue. In any case, one source is at high risk because depending on the fluctuation of the market of oil, the availability of for how many years this oil is, is going to be available, the quantity that can be extracted, affect, affect the whole budget. But